Yo, it's Grandpa's fucked up bed. Oh, Grandpa's bed! Hello everyone and welcome to Charlotte and Zeke play Stardew Valley. Oh, here we are. Grandpa's given us a very special envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. I haven't died yet. Wait till my bed collapses. What is with that bed? Well, there's our Twitter account that just posts Grandpa's fucked up <laughs> bed from Stardew yeah. Valley. Quick, the mods are asleep. <laughs> <laughs> So if you don't know what Stardew Valley is, hi, we know what it is very well. And um, we're going to be playing the game with some mods, which are basically just people change the game, fan created yeah. changes to the game. Oh God, look at Woody licking his Woody. lips. Mm, money. He's got cocaine all over his teeth and he's just licking away at him. Oh, it's us, the randomised character. Hooray. We, we, we made our characters earlier, so you guys don't have to watch yeah. that. This is just the cutscene. We'll call this guy Rando. Rando. Dear, uh, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of change. How does he know? It's like Grandpa scripted the game. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and played Stardew Valley, the video game, on my own. Except we're not doing it alone, we're doing it co-op. Oh yeah, split screen! There's been a split screen co-op update, and we're gonna do it. Basically, who cares about Grandpa? Yeah. You know how he's all dead and shit? Yeah. Well, he's given us the keys to his rad-ass yeah. farm. Yeah. And we have to say hi to Lewis, but we've got his farm, we've got <sighs> his have, land. Do we have to say hi to Lewis? We do have to say hi to Lewis. So yeah, we give up the corporate nightmare, and we move to Stardew Valley. Look, in the blessed hillsides. Is that, that's not Pam driving the bus. No, Who is that? I don't know, bearded Pam. Pam's a bus driver. Me and Charlotte know this game very well. Yes. So, like... Catch up. <laughs> it's a simple game, and it doesn't matter yeah. that we know what we're doing. That's the point. Hello, you must be a... Be a what? Be a... <laughs> Our house isn't quite as fly as I'd previously envisioned. No, but it'll do. There's a lot less jacuzzis and naked ladies made of gold. This is B farm, because you're <laughs> B tier. <laughs> this is Bafar. <laughs> you know what, Robin? Get the hell out of here. This is enough of an opening. We no. quit our corporate nightmare, and we are moving into... This cabin that is going to have a strange man in it. There he is. Ah, the new farmer. He just kisses me. <laughs> wow, I'm Mary Lewis. Welcome. Mary Lewis. <laughs> said Mayor, but all right. I'm Mary Lewis. I'm Mary Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> the town's taxes are mine. I mean... Charlotte, they're insulting your shit-ass house. That's f I don't care. It's not my house. It's my granddad's house. Yours now? Why does your house look so bad? Because <sighs> Lewis was in it. He stole all the good <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Welcome to Shift in Sand Farm. Because nothing but good things happen in Shifting Sandland. It's true. Nothing but good things. Uh, oh, it's making me make Wait, my character. What? It shouldn't. Oh, i got to make my character real quick. Okay, so we've made the freaking character. Yeah, there he is, again. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't put that one in. No, I don't want... <laughs> but right. yeah. Let me escape. Right, we're off. I'm over here on the right, Charlotte's over there on the left. Hey, you Oh, oh, we got parsnip seed presents. I don't care about parsnips. Here's a little something to get you started, Matt Lewis. He knows how to get me started. Mm-hmm, parsnips. <laughs> okay, so this is Stardew Valley. Yeah. It's... If you like games like um, like Animal Crossing, you'll probably be very at home here because it's just one of those chill games about meeting the neighbours, planting crops, escaping the corporate fat cats. The spirits are very displeased today. You'll be well, pleased to know. I'm not pleased to know that. That means we're going to have bad luck. So with this um, split screen update, they've also added... Um, and also had this new farm, which is the Sandy Beach Farm, I believe. Mm. And the gimmick with it is, 
but the sandy soil you can grow crops on, but sprinklers, which, you know, automatically water your crops, yeah. they don't grow. Like, not having to water your crop saves you a lot of stamina. Which is that little green bar down there, mm -hmm. which Charlotte is eating away through. Oh, yeah, I want to get resources and stuff. Yeah. So, the first day is basically clear the farm. You're supposed to meet the neighbours and stuff. Yeah. I kind of don't care. I kind of don't care, but I know that we get rewards for doing it. We'll meet them and stuff, but the thing is, we're um, we found out you can also um, you can marry other players. Yeah, so we don't need to schmooze with the commoners. No, we can just fuck each other. Yeah. Where is my house? Oh, there you get are. Get out of my farm. Okay, I've got parsnip seeds, and I should probably plant them. Okay. Why do I plant them? Uh, you can plant them in front of your house, or in front of my house. We don't have sprinklers anyway, so I can plant them anywhere right now. Yeah, as you can see, we've got tools at the bottom. we got the siding can. Just getting lost on here. This place is big. Oh, yeah. I think this might be the biggest farm they give you. Maybe it's not the biggest. It's It seems intricate, though. Mm. Where is my home? Uh, yeah. I know I have one. It's, you're near it. Here it is. Here okay. it is. <laughs> no wonder I couldn't find it. Look at all these rocks. Seeks on Rock Beach. You ready? And I believe how co-op works is it looks like we share money. I think we share money too. Right, my stamina's starting to look a bit low, so I'm going to craft. I can't craft when I want to craft. Oh, a chest. Yeah. That's really important. And it's a good segue for me to talk about some of the mods we have installed. Yeah. What mods do we have installed? Why? Whoop. There they went on screen. Is that a little too quick to read? Well, we'll put them in the description <laughs> below. <laughs> but one of the ones that we both really like is the automate mod, mm -hmm. which will automate some things on your yeah. farm. And when you've played as much Stardew as we have, which is a lot, you start to know what the busy work is and what you'd rather not be doing. Yeah, exactly, right? Now, I'm sure Charlotte will show this off when she gets a chest, so just hold tight for a minute. Oh, oh. let me go back and show it off. So it's more obvious when you have more than one, but we can change its colour. Very pretty, pretty red chest. And if we click here, we can see that we can go in this chest or look in the shipping bin. See nothing in the shipping bin. And back to, whoops, back to this chest. Yeah, it lets you look in all storage you have. It's just we only have those two at the moment. Like we can put this in here and then at the end of the day, that will get sold. Yeah, and we've just got a lot of like convenience mods like that that just, you know, they stop us running from point A to point B. Mm. And the chests themselves are very cool. They act like um, almost like a pipe system. Mm. So if you put a chest near a furnace, and a furnace for example, yeah. and it's got something in it that a furnace would smell, it'll just smelt it automatically. I'm gonna go have a trot in the village. Sure. Um, are you gonna buy some seeds and stuff, maybe? Ooh, maybe. How do I get out? Uh, I think you have to go through that really thick bush there. Oh! Oh, into the bush. Into the bush. I did not think I'd have to go in the bush. Okay, I can't clear these big rocks yet. No. I'm just gonna kill some baby trees, because I'm an asshole. Sweet. You know what? I'll kill the adult, too. I don't even care. I care a little, it's hurting my stamina. Hello, Dr. Harvey. Also, trees in this gray... Graham. In this Graham. Trees in this Graham growing like green greys. Pleasure to meet you, Harvey. He's the doctor. Is he can edit and put up a translation of what I said there. Oh, we've got another mod. We've got, um, like, the Stardew Valley villagers wear clothing and stuff mod. <laughs> it makes it sound like they're all nudists. You're just walking Finally. away from me. They don't, finally, they wear clothes. This nudist propaganda game is finally suitable for my Christian eyes. I was talking to her and she just walked away. I don't blame her. Okay. Anybody home? Okay, I've cleared a space for my, um, I've cleared a space for some of my, what do you call it? Nips. Some of my turnips to get planted. Yeah, it's me nips. I have to come all the way here to your shipping bin and that takes the mick. Go in this chest, or look in the shipping bin. This is Pam, this is who we thought was driving the bus. Oh yeah, she becomes a bus driver later, or she is one now, or something? She is one, but the bus is broken. Nobody likes Alex, so we're just gonna ignore oh, him. Oh, not my crafting supplies, please. This is Sam, he's Goku. <laughs> That's Jock. <laughs> yeah, he's just Jock Goku. Leah. Yeah. Cowboy Leah? Yeah. 
Yeah, they've got this mod that gives them all unique um, unique clothes, yeah. like depending on the weather and the season and stuff, and it's just cute. They've all got birthdays. There's that, that, That's not a mod. They all have that. They, they all just have birthdays anyway. And these events... Are, the game just has events, yeah? Wow. Shane, Shane, are you in your uniform? Shane. He's in something. He's in some... I don't think he'd normally wear that. I don't know you. Why are you <laughs> talking to me? Like, big mood. Yeah, Shane's one of the best characters, though. <laughs> Oh, he's such an asshole as well. Oh, he is at first, If yeah. you don't know him, he's such an asshole. There's a lot of characters like that. Just like me. <laughs> What's his name? Elliot, Elliot, you home? Yeah, I'm glad you're meeting all the people, because I just... <laughs> I'll, I'll meet him when I meet him. That's know? fine. I used up, like... Ooh, this, this is secrets. Ha! Oh. You missed the secrets. I'm using the wrong tool. Secrets is rocks. Remember. One, two... Three, four, five, six. Hey, Clay. Seven, eight, Clint, nine. even. Clay, basically <laughs> the same joke. He's a. I was going to say he's a furnace. He's, he's a, a furnace. <laughs> he's a blacksmith. <laughs> hey, Charlotte, I'm probably going to pass out soon. Could I borrow some of your no stamina as well? I, I can give it a go, sure. Do you have anything we could shove in our faces to eat? No, I think the dandelions are poisonous. Oh no, no, we could eat dandelions. Mm. Okay. Don't eat, don't eat them dandelion clocks if, though. No, if I find a horse. <laughs> what did you just say? Hey, Charles, do you want to come in? I mean, I was going to go sell things. I mean, and if you're busy, that's cool. Uh, I'll, yeah. I'll catch you later. Yeah, let's bye. <laughs> It's getting late. I'm just gonna sell some of this. Don't sell your rocks. You're no, gonna need that. I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need the clay as well. Maybe the sap. I don't know. You haven't even opened that present. No. What, well, is that just gonna stay there forever? It, it struts. What do you mean? You sell your turnip seeds so you can buy better seeds. That's what you do, is it? Yeah. Typically, you sell everything so you can buy strawberry seeds. <laughs> Everything, like your clothes. Yeah, make a chest, just sell it. Hey, our houses look identical. That's strange. I wonder if it's because it's the beach. Huh? Wow, I got a letter from Willy. Whoa, that's. Whoa, I'm seeing double. Wow. Four letters. <laughs> so, if we go see Willy, because that's who I thought you were talking about when you were looking for Sebastian, the fisherman, yeah. Willy. No, I, I remembered Willy wouldn't be there yet. Yeah, but he'll give us a fishing rod. Mm -hmm. And you're going to start seeing the Animal Crossing similarities right away. Oh, I didn't plant all of my turnips. Ooh. Well, I guess I'll sell them and buy strawberries or something. You can't do that yet. You have to wait till the flower dance. Oh. Yeah. That's quite a while away. It's a super long while away. Why wouldn't I just grow the turnips in that time? I think they're just not worth it. It's me thinking back to like old strats that I remember reading. Right. My god, do I already want a bigger backpack. <laughs> <laughs> How much does it cost? Ten grand, I think. Ten grand? I think it's ten grand. Oh, I'm meeting Willy. He's... I'm gonna go meet... You ever just go out to the pier and have a good old sway? <laughs> Hoi there, son. Heard there's a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Um, oh, this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Eek, where are you? Somebody isn't real. It was a big hole. I sold a lot of good fish. <laughs> hey, I'm here now. <laughs> How do I skip? Well, I think you did. I... I don't think I can skip. Oh, I skipped. My pockets are full. No! But I got my fishing rod now. That wasn't a fishing rod. Well, this is. Those were loser seeds. Loser seeds? <laughs> I'll show you loser seeds. Uh. <laughs> you just <laughs> showed me. Hey, doggy. No, he's coming. It's, no. It's really weird playing Stardew multiplayer. Yeah. Like, I know you've been able to do it for a long time, but when do we ever? True. I'm going to buy some potatoes. Oh, that uses our money, you remember? Oh, shit. No, no, that's fine. We just got to remember. I was going to ask what you wanted. If potatoes are what you want, I say go all in. Oh, it's only two grand. 
I know you liked the idea of just having a ton of beehives. Yeah, I was thinking about getting loads of beehives. So I might get some uh, some fly. I, I don't have the space to hold anything. You can sell him your sap. You can sell yeah, him your like, seeds. Yeah, but I, I'm using the controller, and for some reason, it doesn't let me go down here. That's silly. And it's, let me let me go my options for a sec. Yeah, now I can oh. do this. Now I can use it like a mouse pointer with the controller. Well, that's so much better for this game. Usually I hate this stuff, but in this instance, it's uh, it's the right call. Do you know what? I, I'll listen to you. I'll sell my. I'll sell them. Ooh, Zeke's listening to me. What's going on? Sound the alarm. <laughs> there we go. I got some tulip bulbs and some jazz seeds. Nice. Oh, who's this in the hat? Oh, it's Marnie. <laughs> Marnie looks good like that. Yeah. Oh my god, Abigail looks. I thought she looked like a pirate. <laughs> she does a bit. So, do you remember how to make a beehive? You need sap, so we need a tapper. That wasn't what I wanted. Okay, we don't know how to make a tap yet. You have to make a tapper, get maple syrup. Mm. You need wood. Yeah. I think that might have been it. Okay. I think sap. Or maple, yeah, maple syrup is the hardest bit of that to get. Yeah, and I guess the thing is as well that I'm forgetting is you need to actually unlock recipes that you can craft by leveling up. Yeah. Which is a mechanic I completely blanked on, if I'm being yeah. honest. You also get some recipes for befriending people. Okay, because I like doing this. I'm going to make it white. Because it means... Because Charlotte's a supremacist. Well, when it gets late at night... 2 p.m. to be exact. You oh, will, that is late. <laughs> you will pass out, and if you are outside, you will get fined. You will get mugged. <laughs> you will get <laughs> mugged and fined. Yeah. So, <laughs> if you need to do any, like, chest sorting, have one in your house, do it in your house, because when you pass out in your house, you don't get mugged. That's how you get people to stay home during the pandemic. <laughs> if you go out after 2am, 2 2 you will be mugged and fine. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is a system like that's really horrible to like homeless people. Oh yeah, go home. It's like, this is my home. Go home or pay a fine. Oh my god, Hayley. Hayley. Hayley's the one with the style. Do you know what? Um, I played this on the Switch like most recently. That was still like a year ago by now. Yeah. Um, I, I like Haley. She's kind of like you can tell what type she is already, right? Yeah. She's very stereotypical, like she's the girly blonde. girl. Yeah, she's the blonde fashion. She's the blonde one. girl. I've never really paid much attention to her, and you can marry like NPCs and stuff in the game. So I was like, let's see what she's about. She's actually cool. Yeah, she's like big into like photography and stuff. Yeah, and hey, you find hey, Demetrius. You find a lot of characters are actually cool, even when you think they're just kind of these weird loser assholes. <laughs> Sebastian, no, 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 don't leave me! Don't leave me! Oh, you just moved in, huh? That's cool. fine. Fine, I got to talk to him. It's fine. You okay there, jeez. <laughs> Listen, Sebastian spends like 80% of his time in his room. God, thirsty much? <laughs> oh, because people might be wondering as well. Um, we've got different um, we've got different zooms on our screens. Oh, yeah. I'm using I'm using my uh, uh, gamepad controller, like my Xbox controller. What is that little man? It's, it's a strange doll. That is strange, I'm you're right. So tiny now. Yeah, we can zoom out a lot if we like. <laughs> I'm so tiny. But Charlotte's using the mouse, so she's got more precision than me. I'm using a controller, so it's a little clunky. Oh, wait. I don't want to give Maru the strange doll. Hey, Maru. Why not? She's not good enough for it. I don't think she'd like it. And also, I want to give it to the museum. Because I dug it up out the floor. That's fair. I think you've got to zoom in, man. That's so, <laughs> so this is Shane. We like Shane. This is Alex. I don't know if he ever gets redeemable. I don't know a thing about him. I, he's, got, he's got a sad backstory. He looks like a nutcracker. <laughs> and then you talk to him and he's got a chin like the fucking the crimson chin. Like paint him red, he's absolutely a nutcracker. 
That's Skateboard Goku. Hey, Skateboard Goku. He's fine. I don't know anything about Sounds him, except fine. he's fine. He's one of the few people you can give Jojo Cola to, and he won't get mad at you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we should probably go to the so Jojo hot. Mart at some point. The, yes, um, yes, the yes, company yes. we used to work for. Mm -hmm. They're like a multi-million dollar corporation with, like, tendrils in every direction. Yeah. And they own a supermarket in this town called Joja Mart. There it is. Life's better with Joja. Join us. Join us. Thrive. I don't wanna. <laughs> Here's this happy worker. Oops. You never get to meet them. <laughs> Talk to me. Yeah, you can buy things here. They are cheaper than buying them at Pierre. But at the same time, the evil corporation, they're selling bricks. I think that's just butter. Okay, I should go help with getting light. What is that? Little... It means you've got one in your bag. Oh! I think. Yeah, it does. That's a little backpack. That's sweet. Oh, dude. Okay, I'm building another chest because you can never have too many at this point. But with this automation mod, we can put these chests next to anything. Mm -hmm. And we can make chains of them so they, you know, oh, pipe yeah. stuff all over the whole island if we want it. Oh, yeah, I remember making, like, an automated fishing machine. It was great. It's kind of my... The most fun I've ever had with Stardew has been with the weird mods like that. Mm. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. How do I scroll down this? Can you not just move down? I'm trying. Look, it's going really slowly. Oh, wow. Look, <laughs> now it's fine. What on earth? A concerned ape, we have issues. No, we've installed a bunch of mods. It's nothing to do with them. <laughs> right, my character's going to pass out from exhaustion. Okay. Um, I'm going to head to Sleepy Time Junction. You head back whenever you're ready. I'm basically around. My, I'll chop a few... Chop. Smash a few more rocks. Ooh. Okay. Sweet. Trees, level one. Foraging, so our axe skills better. Mm -hmm. Tree sometimes drop seeds. We can craft wild seeds, which just give us a bunch of wild, like, forageable things. Mm -hmm. And we can make food out of tree nuts, basically. Yeah. Day three. I'm ready. It should be raining. Oh, yeah, you sure has played a lot of this, and apparently yeah. it always rains on day three. Yeah, it always rains on day three. I feel like that's just to stop you from wasting energy watering things. It lets you give you it gives you a day to definitely explore the island and go fishing. And yeah, stuff. and like meet people. I say the island just because of where we live. <laughs> it's not an island. It's basically an island. We could have called it Peat Pod. Pierre wants yes. you to buy a backpack. Yes, Pierre. I know. I know that you sell backpacks. They're just too expensive. Okay, so what should we do today? Oh, uh, we could go fishing. Go fishing. Rare fish spawn when it's fishing. Do uh, they? I, when it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> so where should we go fishing? Go fishing in the bin. Hey Shane, I wasn't going to look in the bin. You can look in the bins. I'm going to be a little trash goblin. Careful, Shane's back. Dirty fuck. Yeah, if people see you rummaging through the bins, they're um not too happy. Wasn't he wearing a different outfit? He didn't have a jacket on before. Um, In my yeah, reality, look. he's wearing a leather jacket. In mine, he's not. He's just brave and storm. <laughs> All right. Mods are weird. Let's go ocean fishing. Yeah, you get neat forageables on the ocean. And we can sell our fish to um to old Willy. Yeah, to old Will Will. Don't ever call him that. He asked me as a favour. So what's the bonus if you get a perfect fish? It's like you get better quality fish yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's not. We're fishing in the wrong place. What do you mean we're fishing in the wrong? We're fishing. Wrong place. I missed it because I had an itch. <laughs> We're fishing in the wrong place. Oh, yeah, you, you get rarer fish by the rocks, don't yeah, you? Yeah, if you fish at this rock, you get higher quality fish. You're more likely to, anyway. Yeah. So you can see Charlotte's trying to meet everyone, and I'm yeah. just sort of like... Oh, all right, so we sat down. Oh, yeah, you installed the <laughs> sitting mod. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. There's a sitting There's mod. There's a sitting... I am man-spreading like nobody's business. <laughs> you've, got to, you've just got to air out the girls, you know? <laughs> Emily's looking baller. Oh, Emily's wearing the virgin killer sweater. Nice. 
Okay, I'm gonna. Should I keep an eel? No, we just want the money. Yeah, we'll just just get the money. For, uh, are they nightfall? Nightfall, rainfall only though. But I don't know. Do you think? Hmm. Take take one of my eels out of the shipping bin when you put yours in because mine were basic quality. Yeah. Because high quality sells for more, and in yeah. the early game that matters a lot. It does. Um, let's get to bed. Yeah. Put that there then. Oh. Fishing rod proficiency. Yeah. So next time on Challenge Z, day four of spring, of our new Stardew Valley Farm. Mm -hmm. Star Actually, say say that quickly three times. Stardew, Stardew Valley Farm. Stardew Star Valley Farm. Stardew Valley Farm. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this, don't worry, we're going to play a little bit more. Mm -hmm. We're going to do at least a few... I don't know how far we're going to go. We're going to no. go till we think we're done, and then, honestly, we're probably going to start Twitch streaming. We're probably going to start streaming it, because this is such a good stream game. Oh, such a casual, fun game. Yeah. So if you liked it, let us know, yeah. and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Yeah.